And you just looked, I just sent the I sent the same meeting. Okay. You're welcome. Alec, at least I'm getting some people here. How are you doing, Alec? How are you doing, Alec? Alec, turn your mic on. Unmute yourself, my Alec. And Jordan, my overachiever. Hi, Jordan. Hello. <laughs> Let's see. How many, uh, have you gotten done with half of the assignments now? <laughs> I, only, I only put them up at two o'clock last night. <laughs> Are you, actually, to be honest with you, Jordan, the safety is not gonna be due for until a week from Sunday, until the 30th. Oh, well, when I did it the other day, I saw that it was due the 23rd, so I just wanted to go ahead and like get I, it done. Yeah, I had to change that. This has not been the easiest course to manage so far, and we're going to work our way through it. Samantha, have you done the quiz yet? Not yet. Uh, not yet? What if I keep this meeting going until 10 o'clock, Samantha? That's a great question. <laughs> All right, good enough. Uh, how you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, good. Catherine's here. She just called me, which is a good idea, guys. Remember, I, I put out my phone numbers. If you look at the syllabus, my phone number is on the syllabus. Please call the home line. That's the best chance to, for you to get me. I got a new phone. All right. That is my first phone past my flip phone. Yeah, a flip phone. I used to have a flip phone. So as a consequence, guys, I am, I'm not that technically involved. So please, Sam. Is it easier to reach me on the home line? Yeah. Alec, visualize yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, I've had too many people, too many times where somebody just logs on and goes away. Alec, I need you to unmute yourself and answer me. If not, Alec, I'm gonna consider that you just logged in here and went away. And I'm not going to record your attendance. I'm here. Let me go look respectable because I just woke up five minutes ago. Believe me, nobody's look, nobody looks respectable at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock is an ungodly hour. I realize that. Unfortunately, it's the only time I have free on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, how are we doing, guys? Right off the bat, I will make this commitment to you. This is a cobbled together course, all right? We're using some simulations from McGraw-Hill. The original plan was to use the majority of the simulations from McGraw-Hill. First of all, they didn't have all of the programs written. Then they changed over from something to HTML in December. And they haven't written all of the laboratories. So the person that developed the course, he went out and found other simulations that he was able to incorporate into this course. I believe there may be some videos that you're going to have to deal with. We are all dealing with this. We are all learning 
We're all learning this at the same time. So that's going to require a bit of patience. All right, I make the commitment. I will make the commitment that these errors will not affect you. They will not affect your grade. Another thing I ran into last night when I was finally getting to the point, I, I, I'll be perfectly honest, at 2.30 yesterday, I was getting trained on the McGraw-Hill portion of this. That's the first time they could really, the, per, the representative could really see me. So I'm not that familiar with it. We are just going to have to be patient with each other. And I promise you that you will not, this will not affect your grades. Are we good with that? Catherine, I need you to, I know it's eight o'clock. I know it's an ungodly time in the morning. Alec was able to fix himself up together and what was it, five minutes, Alex? Look, guys. This is what I look, this is why I wear a hat, guys. Emily, I need you to put your video on. Thank you so much. Now, you guys are aware that this is an online class and not a live online class. Are you aware of that? That What that means to you is that, technically speaking, you don't have to be here at this time. I chose to have a live Zoom meeting with you guys because I believe it's the most effective way for you to learn. We're in one-to-one -one contact. You can ask me questions. I can respond at this time. However, the meetings will be recorded. There are other recordings within the course. So can you get by without it? Yeah. The only thing I want you, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people to know is that you do need to respond to me by Sunday. You do need to respond to me by Sunday by doing the syllabus quiz. If you do not do the syllabus quiz by Sunday, you will be marked absent. Guys, Print up the syllable. I just went to make this quiz. I just took simple questions out of there. Multiple choice, true, false. An example question. How many point, total points does the course have? It's in there, all right? We have an understanding about that. Shake, all, shake your heads. Thank you so much. Or better yet, let's get used to the reactions. Everybody see the reactions? button on the bottom. Everybody see the reaction? If yeah. you acknowledge me, hit the reactions and put the thumbs up. Thank you. Jordan? I like can't see it at the bottom of my screen. You're not, all right, it should be a toolbar that says reactions. If not, there should be a toolbar that says more. How did somebody else help me out here? How did you find it? Was it on your toolbar, guys? Come on, somebody talk it to depends. me. Depends. Is she? Are you on a computer or are you on like an iPad or? It's like a like a Chromebook kind of, so I don't see it at the bottom of the screen. Oh, try to press participants. Sometimes it's under there, if you have that. I see like raise hand and go faster or slower. Maybe try checking. Yeah, yeah, that's what you want. Yeah, that's exactly what you want. In that's there, Jordan, there should be a thumbs up, a crying thing. Mm, I have raise hand yes no go slower go faster okay when i say thumbs up you raise your hand then okay okay <laughs> all right I'm, I'm a simple person i'm a simple person we can we will get through this we will get through this together all right 
Uh, two people just entered. Okay, Relina, well, I've got you. Are you happy with my response to? Relina. Your response to what? I'm sorry. Your, you emailed me about the quiz. Are you happy with that? Are you happy with my response to you for the quiz? If not, stay after class, all right? I didn't ask a question about a quiz. Again, again, after class, okay? Okay, guys. What they decided to do at HCC, they decided that they wanted to give you simulation labs rather than just handing you the data and making you go through the calculations. SPC is just handing those students for lab. They're just handing the students the data. In some instances, they're giving video labs, but for the most part, they're just handing the data to the students and the students are having to calculate that back. HCC decided to go in the route where we are going to try and do simulated laboratories. As a consequence to this, there's no real Chem 2 simulated laboratory. So we are cobbling together a simulation thing that we're going to have to do. And there are some problems that are associated with it. Okay, let's first go. I've got now 12 people in here. Again, I am going to, again, I'm going to tell you, you need, I'll email this out again. You need to respond to me by doing the syllabus quiz by Sunday at five. If you don't do the syllabus quiz by Sunday at five, I will consider you to be a non-attender of this particular laboratory. That means you have to go through the hassle of re-registering. Please do the syllabus quiz. All right, is there anybody that is not familiar with HCC's Canvas? Is, in other words, is there anybody, a transient student, this is the first time you're taking classes at HCC? It's me. Who's me? Guys, don't say it's me. Don't say oh, I. Oh, do you want me to raise my hand? Sorry. No, 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 no. Just, just tell me who your name is. Oh, Catherine. Catherine? Okay, yeah. Catherine. Gregor is also a transient student. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, you're going to have to deal with me for a second or two while I try and walk people through the course. You log into the course. You, I'm sorry, you log into HCC. You get a homepage like this. Is that correct? Yes. All right. What you need to do is you need to click to Canvas. And my screen's going to be a little different from yours because I'm an instructor. I have more buttons, which means you can push more of my buttons. The jokes do not get any better than that, guys. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you. I love the ha ha. All right. You're going to click <laughs> on the courses. Now you're gonna see a whole lot less courses than I have, probably two or three or one. You're gonna go down to the course that you want, which is 59005 and you're going to click on it. Okay. In the course, there is announcements. There are announcements. Jesus, I'm an English major too. Okay, homepage, homepage is going to be all the modules. That's just what it's going to default to. If you go to announcements, in announcements, you will see where your assignments are going to be. Each Sunday by five o'clock, I will have your assignments for the week, for the next week. Okay, now, this is a Monday to Sunday class. 
That means all of your assignments are going to be due by midnight on Sunday. This means you're going to have to be disciplined. I'm going to give a Zoom meeting on Monday. I'm going to give, I'm sorry, Tuesday. I'm going to give a Zoom meeting on Thursday. That means that the class I give on Thursday, that laboratory has to be done by midnight on Sunday. I will put all of the assignments that are due that week in that particular, in this particular location. I will also cut and paste and put it in an email if you prefer to have it that way. Questions about that? The syllabus is finally in there. Those of you that were crying for a syllabus, it is finally in there. It was put in there probably about 10 o'clock last night. I will go through that in a, in a moment. This is the schedule. This is tentative. It may be changing because I made an assumption last night. Basically what happened was they gave me, they gave me 17 slots to fill, 17 dates to fill, but they only gave me 11 experiments. So we are going to be doing an extra one called graphing. What you have, again, what you have, we're doing the orientation today. The syllabus quiz will be on Sunday. Next week, on Tuesday, we'll be doing the safety and lab skills portion. And on Thursday, I'll be doing the graphing. Both of those laboratories are due the Sunday after the one coming up. They are due on May 30th. Are we good with that? We understand the, the basic system? Yeah. So you guys are, look, mm -hmm. final day, July 13th. That means you've got basically a week and a half that in which your final grade is going to be in and you're not going to have to do anything more. Okay. I'm going to get out of this. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that. No. Why do computers do what you tell them to do rather than what you want them to do? Uh. I got to get back into Canvas. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This may no be way. easy or it may be hard. While I'm doing this, how many of you are just taking the lab? Yeah. Uh, Jessica, I am taking the only the lab. Okay. Catherine. Catherine. All right, be very, very observant of the announcements and the emails because right after this class, I have a lecture and I will try, I will desperately try not to, not to give them information that I don't give to you, but sometimes things slip. So just be aware of that, okay? I have a question. I have an answer. Um, do are the meetings on Tuesdays and Thursdays mandatory for the class? No, I can't make them oh. mandatory. I would love, Jessica, I would love to make them mandatory because honestly, what's going to happen, I know what's going to happen. You guys are going to slip. You're going to realize, you're going to just say, oh, I don't have to do that. I mean, I could do that later in the week. And it's going to come down to around Sunday at 10 o'clock. And you're going to go, oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. It's, it's not, if, if it was my decision, I would not ever have just an online class for chemistry. It's not my decision. So, Jessica, 
The meetings, as best I can, the meetings will be recorded, these Zoom meetings. They will be uploaded into the course and you can access them at that time. If okay. you have had me before, you will notice that the Zoom meetings are different from what they were before. It's easier for me to just upload them to YouTube than going through uh, what the uh, uh, information saving device that uh, HCC uh, used. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just directly upload the videos into YouTube and I'm gonna have a Word document on the Word document are going to be the links into the YouTube videos. You should be able to directly access them from there. If not, you're gonna to have to cut and paste. Are we good okay, with that? Thank you. Are the yeah. Zoom meetings gonna be at eight o'clock every day, like every Tuesday and Thursday, or is it just gonna vary? Elizabeth, this is my schedule today. At, 10, at 9.45, I have to be in my Zoom meeting for my lecture because that's what I have designated my office hours at. Okay, Elizabeth? Yes, I, sir. From 9.45 until 12.20, I am going to be lecturing my the 2046 students. I have to get from my house in South St. Petersburg to the Dale Mabry campus by two o'clock where I have a face-to-face -face class. The face-to-face -face class lasts until 4.30. And unfortunately, guys, I've already given up my evenings to a, uh, to a, chem, uh, to a chem lecture at SBC on Mondays and Wednesdays. So I'm rather loath to give up all four of my evenings. That explains why we're doing this now. Believe me, Elizabeth, if I didn't have to get up at eight, I would not. Is that going to be the same for Tuesday as well to work? And so I just want to make sure that I can take off those times to be at the Zoom. Yes, Elizabeth. I will be, I will be doing Zoom meetings, live Zoom meetings at eight o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Okay, thank you. Generally speaking, the Zoom meetings will last, I, I'm, I'm figuring about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Probably no longer than that. Uh, I need to address something though. The person who, ha who has been labeled 1813431, the person that has their phone number on there, I need you to talk to me right now. Hi, I'm Gabby Sosa. Nice to meet you. I'm sorry, you're Gabby? Yes, Gabrielle Sosa. Okay, thank you, Gabrielle. I'm sorry, but I need to identify people. I need to no, identify no people. There was an incident not too long ago in which a hacker was being uh, um, was being brought before charges in a court, and some of his friends managed to hack into the court computer, and they were showing pornography on it. So wow. I have to identify everybody. So if you do log on with a straight with something other than your name, please let me know. Um, I actually have a question as well. Okay, Gabby. Um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, are you going to be discussing the same information or is it different information each day? Different information. Okay. Each, each period we'll be discussing a different lab. That's just the nature of taking, taking a laboratory course in the summer. There ends up, this is, it's a strange phenomena. There end up being more sessions in a 10 week course than in a 16 week course because of the fact that uh, we're meeting twice a week. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense, thank you. Okay, all right. So that's where the announcements are. Please look at them or look at your emails to make sure you're keeping up with things. Okay, McGraw-Hill Connect, you have to purchase. I was told by McGraw-Hill that it was $60.
I was told yesterday by Dr. Liu, the creator of the course, that it was significantly less than that. Do not hold me to that. McGraw-Hill is going to give you like four or five simulated laboratories. So we have, they, they have to charge, they don't have to, but they're charging a fee. That is the only thing you need to buy for this course. Everything else will be provided to you. What you're going to do is you're going to either, I believe you can purchase the code from the bookstore. And again, you know that information better than I do. I've been told you can purchase it through the bookstore or you can purchase it directly. The key is, ladies and gentlemen, you have to access McGraw-Hill from the course. You can't just Google McGraw-Hill and try and get the course that way. For one thing, it may end up costing you more money because McGraw-Hill is going to give you access to all of their simulations. For another thing, you won't link it to my course. If you're not linking to my course, that means I can't see any of your work. So try and access it through McGraw-Hill. If you're in another one of these sections and you want to get back to modules, just click on modules. That's where the guts of the course is. Discussions. Each experiment, you notice I'm not saying each week, each experiment, you will have a discussion that you have to submit. This isn't my choice, it's part of the course design. All right, you have to submit three discussions, one of which there is a question posed and you have to answer the questions in the directive uh, within the question. It may tell you something like, uh, in 60 words or less, answer this particular question. So that's the first thing you do. Then what you will be asked to do is you'll be asked to respond two more times to other student comments. Now, there will be times when you are going to have more than one discussion that's due on Sunday. So again, I need you to realize that, I need you to realize that this stuff is coming fast and quick and you gotta keep up with it. Uh, grades you'll need. Other than that, you won't need to do anything else on the left-hand toolbar. Modules are where you're going to access the guts of the course. Right now, I don't even know where that's at right now. I have to find the, hold on a second. Are you going to change the date? Because when I went and looked at it on Canvas. Are you looking at um, them now? No. All right. Are you looking no, at the, I, I'm, are, first of all, guys, am I, am I screen sharing? No. All right. Guys, I just see your lovely face. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. Sometimes I think I'm doing things and I'm not. Okay. Now, person who asked about the dates? Me, Gabrielle Sosa. Thank you. Thank you, Gabrielle. You at least said me, Gabrielle. That's good. Gabrielle, are you seeing the dates now? Yes, I am. I changed them last night. This is okay, what I was perfect. doing at two in the morning. Thank you. Somehow I have lost the, ah, nope, it's not there. I will put the syllabus quiz right under where, uh, I will put the syllabus quiz 
in where it says welcome to 2046L. As a matter of fact, I could probably do that right now. Okay. Okay, that's where the syllabus quiz is that you have to do by Sunday, okay? If you scroll down, you get a step-by-step -step instructions on how you are going to register with McGraw-Hill. Then you are going to get into the modules of the exact lessons. The first one is introduction to virtual labs and safety. If you click on it, what happens is you get a video from Dr. Lee, Dr. Lou, and just beware that he gives you a lesson on hand washing. Yes, you have a lesson on hand washing. Why, I don't know, but you do. Okay. And now I got to get out of here. Are you hearing me now? Yeah. I accidentally hit the mute button. Okay. Yeah, that gets me out of here. Oh, there it is. All right. So within each lesson, Dr. Lee has given Dr. Lou has given you a a video on the actual lesson coming up. Then you have assignments. You're going to have to understand that because we are cobbling this together, the, the individual assignments that are given to you have different point values. So for example, in the first lesson, Introduction, hand washing, and lab safety have values of 26, 26, and 28. Then there is a post lab that is worth 20. All of the numbers add up to 100%. So what is going to happen is each of these individual scores are going to be entered into the grade book in one location. What I have to do is I have to add all of these up for this lesson and I have to hand enter those into the grade book. The reason I have to do this is there are 12 laboratories and you get to drop one. If we didn't do that, then, okay, this assignment is worth 26. The next lab has a pre-lab that's worth 10. If I, drop, if I drop the lowest grade, it's going to drop whatever the 10 is, no matter what you scored on this 26. For example, if it was 13 out of 26, it is going to say, oh, the 10 out of 10 was a worse score because it's only 10 points. So I'm going to drop that rather than the 13 out of 26. Does that, is that making you understand? Elizabeth, Jessica, Gabby, I need you to visualize. I need you on. Yes, I, like so. yeah. I need to see your faces, guys. Yes, yes. Emily, Caro, I need to see your faces. I need to see, 
I need to see you guys. Visualize it. Thank you, Jessica. And I know you were here earlier. Elizabeth? Elizabeth? Thank you. I'm at work, sorry. Spot. Good enough. Thank you all, ladies and gentlemen. Do you understand the process that we're doing here? If I go down to the next lab, not, not the next one, not graphing the one beyond that, you have a pre-lab assignment that you have to do and you have a report that's distributed 10 and 90. If I go down to the next one, 80 and 20. Are you seeing that these point values are not the same? However, everything will add up to, for the report to be 100 points. So I'm going to add all of these, collate them, and put them in one place in the grade book so that your entire, of your entire lab reports, the one out of 100 of the total lab report that is the lowest will be dropped. Do we have an understanding of that? Guys? Shake your heads. Yes. Uh, yeah. the, one, the, one, the one issue that I have are the dates are wrong. So when no, the they're not. Um, okay, so they're not Oops. here. But if you go to the last one, one says due February 8th. All right. Okay, this that's one not right there. here. But if you go to liar, wait, liar. Wait, time, out, time, time out. Do you see I this see, one here? Yeah, I see to the right. I see that. But if you go to, Do you to also, liar. Wait, wait, time out. Shh. Let me explain what's going on with this one. Do you see over here that it's not clicked? I do, I do, I do. But if you go to like Liar Liar, for instance, it's open um, today at two um, on my end. And then it it closes on my end. It closes at midnight. But then their first lab on my end opens at midnight and closes at midnight for the first lab on my end on Canvas. I can screenshot an email if you'd like. So virtually I have zero seconds to do that first lab on my end. And when did you last look at it? About a minute and a half ago. Okay. Hmm. Has anybody else noticed this? Uh -huh. Are you correct? Because literally speaking, I have it available from la tonight, last night, at, or tonight at 12, or I'm sorry, today at midnight until the 30th. That's what I'm looking at. I wish there, there is a way. Okay, I, mine, mine just uploaded correctly. So maybe mine was open from yesterday and it just opened. I re-uploaded it correctly today. Thank you. So you, no, you're seeing it? I'm seeing it. Everything's good, now, Jillian? I had, I, yes, sir. I had it opened up from last night. So maybe that's why I reopened it and it's fine now. Thank you. Literally speaking, Jolene, I was here until 2 a.m. doing the dates last night. I know. It's really a pain in the butt. I get it. Uh, no, it's not even a matter of a pain in the butt. It's just that that was the first opportunity I had to do this stuff. I understand. Thank you. Uh, everybody else is good about the dates then. Now, the other yes, thing, sir. yes, thank okay. you very much. The other thing that's in there in the modules are the discussions. The first one you mentioned was the liars, liar, pants on fire. It's a fun thing. Basically, it just tells you to tell two truths and a lie, and everybody, everybody has to guess what's the truth. Okay, or what's the lie? Um, 
There's not, the reason there's no date there is I haven't made the quiz yet. It will be made this weekend. Or it will be, actually I've made the quiz. I just need to download it from, uh, um, no, I do have to make it, I'm sorry. You notice at the very bottom of each module, you're gonna have something that says 10 points. That is where the discussion is. Later on, probably tomorrow, I'm gonna to go through and label these, discussion hyphen lab safety. So I'm gonna change the title of them so they're clearly labeled out discussions. Professor? Yes, sir. Um, I was just wondering where you'll be putting the um, recordings for your sessions, just in case I can't make it. Down at the bottom. After final review, I'll make a new module. The new module will say Zoom meetings, okay? Right. Inside that, I will have one file. The file will be a Word document. On the Word document, I'm gonna list date, experiment number, Right below that will be a link to YouTube. Good enough, Carol? Perfect, thank you. All right, just looking down at the discussions. That one, that week on June 6th, you're gonna have one discussion to do. On June 13th, you have one, you have two. These will all be labeled discussions. So on June 13th, you have two. The reason this is there is it's the, you do the discussions with the next experiment. June 20th, there's one, there's two. Again, I will be retitling these discussion dash, then the subject matter. Do you understand that? I will also be again on Sundays telling you what is due by the next Sunday. The last thing is the grade and my grade book in this particular class is an absolute mess. I don't know what yours look like. Come on. This literally is what my grade book looks like. Now, you see all the stuff that's unpublished? You're not gonna see that. Maybe, let me fix, nope. So you see what's going on here. All this stuff that's right here should not count for your grade. What I'm gonna do, for example, is I'm gonna add all these individual numbers and then I am gonna put those into this portion of the grade book. And that's where your real grades are coming from. Your discussions, these are the discussions, those will be graded. In any case, you're going, this is where you're gonna access your grades. Any questions, guys? All right, any questions about the individual modules? All right, let's get back here. Let's talk about how the course is going to be run. Generally speaking, I do PowerPoints when I am giving my online lectures. I will try and go through the theory of what they're trying to accomplish in that laboratory. Then I will definitely go through and do 
at least one simulated simulation of the experiment. And from that simulation, I will garner data that I will take you step by step through the calculations. That's generally how the course will run. Important information here. The telephone numbers are my actual home and my actual cell number. The home number is put first for a reason. Generally speaking, guys, I have no life. I'm sitting here in my home. So as a consequence, this is the best way to get me. I'm an old fart. I still have a landline. My cell phone, I'm notorious for not carrying it with me. So if you need to contact me, first try the home, then the cell. I've been giving this out for about two years now, and it hasn't been abused yet. If you need to email me, there's my email address. Please, 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 please. If I send out a group message, do not reply to the group message. Because what happens is that email gets threaded to the group message. And if anybody else responds to it in that fashion, your email gets hidden. To give you an example of that. Sorry, I got to get this out of here. This is what I see. Mm. Let's see an obnoxious one. Oh, there we go. This is what I see when I open up that email. Can you understand if you just email my, if you just email to my original class email that it's going to get hidden? Come on, I need an acknowledgement from that. Please, please, ladies and gentlemen, if I send out an email, like the welcome email, do not respond to it by hitting the reply button. Do not hit the reply button. So start so a new email, right? Start a new email. That way, first of all, it becomes, I can see it. I can see that you're, you've got a question. I can see it right away. If I see it right away, I can respond in a faster fashion. So please, if I send out a group email, don't reply to it, start a new email. By the same token, guys, I answer emails generally in the morning. Okay, let me, let me rephrase that. I'm not going to be able to do that because I'm booked on Tuesday, Thursdays till 4.30. I will probably answer emails late or early evening on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mondays and Wednesdays, I will be answering it probably about 10 in the morning. What that means to you is that if you email me Monday afternoon, I'm not going to see it until Tuesday evening. If it's an emergency, call me. Uh, that's just the way things are going to work here. My office hours. Easiest way for you is to just call me and say, hey, I'd like to meet with you. And I'll either arrange to have you call me on your phone or we'll try and do it through an email. 
or if necessary, I can set up an individual Zoom for you. That's the easiest way. My official office hours are going to be from 9.45 until 10.15 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But what's gonna happen is that is the Zoom meeting for my lecture. So if you have a question, I will, if, you're, if you have a question and you're in my lecture, just understand that I will be there from that time, just log into the Zoom meeting early. Now, let's say Catherine, I think you were one, somebody else I know said that they uh, weren't taking the lecture. Who is not, Catherine, is that correct, Catherine? Yes. Who else is not taking the lecture? I'm just not taking I am not. I'm not either. All right. Me neither. If you need to speak to me, if you need to get into my office hours, just call me. Call me about 945. And what I'll do is I'll go over and send you an invite to let you into that Zoom meeting. The trouble is when I'm here, I'm not on, I, if I'm in a meeting, I can't be monitoring emails. So if you really need to speak to me, if you really need to see me during the office hours, I've given you my phone, home phone number, call my home phone, I will get you an invitation. Is that cool? Elizabeth, where are you at? Are you at work, Elizabeth, again? Are you the person at work? Yeah. Yes. Then don't worry about it. Everybody understand the office hours thing? Yep. I have to set a course meeting time. Generally speaking, this course is meeting from 8 to 10, 10 a.m. And course, course description. This note is an important part. If you are taking both lecture and lab, if you withdraw from one, you must withdraw from the other. I don't know why they do that, but that is the way it is. All right, you can pass one and fail the other. If that is the case, then you only have to retake the failed class. Questions? These are the course outcomes, which is another crap stuff. This is just saying you have to purchase the code. You also have to have a computer with a working web camera. Does anybody not have a, cam a, a computer with Chrome and a working web camera? Grading, we have 12 lab assignments. They're each 100 points. I dropped the lowest one, so that accounts for 1,100. There is a syllabus quiz that's worth 50. You're going to have 11 discussion posts. 10 of them will count. One is dropped. Again, we have a syllabus quiz and the final is worth 250 points. It is cumulative. It will be online. It will be monitored by Honor Lock. Is there anybody that at this point in their collegiate career has not used Honor Lock? Me. Who's me? Jolene. Okay, Jolene. Uh, I, will, I will upload a practice exam. Thank you. And it will be uploaded before you do the final. I would encourage you very much to go through that final so you see all the manipulations that Honor Lock makes you go through so you're not so you don't have that much more stress on finals day, okay? Sounds great. 
grading 90, 80, 70, 60. I have the right to lower the scale, but I will I make the promise that I will not raise it. What I mean by that is I will lower on occasion. If I look at the grades and I think, oh, the final was too tough, that lowered people's grades too much, I may lower it as much as to an 87%. I promise you, I will not say, oh, I got too many A's. Obviously, I was too easy this semester, so I'm going to raise the A value to a 93%. I can lower the scale. I will not raise it. Keep in mind, the 87 is a firm 87. If you get an 86.99%, guys, you are already over 3% less than an A. It's not that you missed an A by a few points. You missed an A by a whole bunch. So I do not want to get any emails. Mr. Popovich, I'm only a few points away. And besides, you are not going to know how much I lower the percentage to. Again, you're going to have access to the experiments uh, through the individual modules. All labs, we run the labs Monday, uh, Monday through Sunday. So if, you've, if a lab has been presented in a Zoom meeting that week, understand that you have to do all of the assignments associated with that lab by Sunday midnight, as well as doing all of the discussion questions. Now, please understand, you can wait till the last minute to do all of these discussion questions. Yes, I understand that's the way you, some people's minds work. But it's going to be a whole lot of work on Sunday night. Please keep up with it. I'm going to be inviting you, just like today. It, this is a prejudice on my part. I don't like getting information before I need to use it. If you give me a Zoom meeting, if you give me a Zoom meeting invite today and the meeting isn't until even tomorrow, I'm afraid there's a good chance I'm going to lose it. That is why I invite you uh, shortly before the Zoom meeting begins. Again, oh, never mind, I'll get that in a second. Basically, I give you a quiz to make sure that you know uh, that you know to be aware of things that are in the syllabus. It's worth 50 points. The discussion. Again, you're going to be asked to comment on a question that's posed first. There will be specific instructions for that comment. Then you have to give me two more comments in that discussion field on other students' comments. Okay, be aware. There is a very good possibility. We have, let's face it, we have 11 discussions. We're already through the first week. So there are nine weeks left. What are the chances you're gonna have more than one discussion due on Sunday night during the week or during the semester? It has to happen. Uh, finals cumulative, it will be given on July 13th. Final grades will be set <coughs> fairly soon after that. I need to change this, this particular, the next thing in terms of contesting scores. I need to put it in there that final grades need to be entered within 48 hours after the final is given. That is that is school policy. So I need to put that in there so that your assignments that are due the Sunday before the final 
and the final you have until July 15th to uh, contest them. After that, all grades are considered permanent. This is the only, this is the only time this lab is given. Therefore, there are no makeup labs. If you miss a Zoom meeting, the meetings are recorded and they will be at the very end of the modules. There's a bias in late submissions. You don't grade things the same because this week you're looking for one thing. Next week, you might have forgotten what you had an emphasis on. So therefore, the two papers are not graded the same. Therefore, I do, not sub I do not accept late submissions. Don't even ask. Well, ask. If you have something that comes up like an electronic problem, I will give you one grace period. You're going to have a week to fix the problem and then you can submit it. But this is only a one-time thing. Attendance will be taken. I'm going to take it in a second or two. And it does not affect your grade. It's a good idea, but it will not affect your grade. All right, guys. I had, I had two incidents, two major incidents of cheating on the lab final in one of my classes. It was monitored by honor lock. Basically guys, the final's an open book. I don't care what you bring there. There's only a couple restrictions. You can't converse with another person directly while you're in the honor lock meeting. You can't access another browser. You can't use your cell phones. Is that clear? No other browser? Still... Go ahead. I was saying that's clear. No other browsers, no cell phone, no talking. Literally speaking, I had one instance where a student accessed Chegg right in the middle of the course. He didn't just do it one time. There were like 15 accesses to Chegg. Honor lock picked it out. He lost his final grade. I had another incident last semester in which two students submitted the same exact exam. I don't know how they did it, but what they did, what flagged it for me, and guys, you gotta understand, if you do wanna cheat, be smart about it. What they did, the question was about Boyle's Law. Mm -hmm. And the question was, give an example of how Boyle's Law is can be verified and I gave examples in class if they just repeated back the examples they got credit for the question if they did something unique I gave them an extra credit point all right so what they what these two students did was they decided oh well I'm going to just prove it numerically they chose for their volume, 7.134 liters. I ask you, what are the chances that two independent students are going to try and solve the problem in the same way with numbers like that? It flagged it on me. I went through the insane, an hour and a half later after going through both exams, I documented they were exact copies and gave them a zero. Another incident, 
I had a student that was talking with somebody else directly. Understand, Honorlock has microphones, guys. They were discussing the questions on the test. In addition to that, I happen to see another computer monitor in the screen. So please, guys, don't cheat. If you do cheat, what's going to happen is I have to report that to the dean of students officer, which means basically it's going to go in your permanent record. It's not worth it. To get an incomplete grade, you have to complete two-thirds of the course satisfactorily. The, co the college has interpreted that to mean at the end of that two-thirds of the class period, you have to have a 70% average. You have to document why you can't complete the class. I've done this. I had a student that was riding her bike home from class one day. She got hit by a car. Documented everything in there. She came back the next semester, completed what I told her to do, and she got her A. The third thing is that we have to sign a contract between us. I have to tell you what you have due yet, and you have to agree to do it. Uh, there is a time limit on this, and I believe that it is halfway through the next semester. You have to complete this by. Yeah. Guys, if you don't like what you've heard today, you have until tomorrow to drop the class with the refund. If you decide halfway through the semester that you don't like the way your grade's going, please, please, please withdraw because the grade only gets worse from there if I have to keep on putting zeros in for your assignments. But call me, guys. Please call me before you withdraw because I know things about the course that you don't. And I may know that the assignments coming up are easing up. And things may not be as bad as you seem. I had a girl with a 52% going into the final of my Chem 1, uh, my intro class in the spring. What she didn't understand was that she was going to get a boost from a participation grade. And if she did the homework, that was going to boost her. And if she did an 80% on the final. She could have gotten a C on the on the as a final grade. She just decided to drop the class. Please give me a call if you need. Uh, cell phones, guys, leave them on. You're adults, leave them on. If you have any. Um, if you have any disability and you have accommodations, I'll be happy. I'll be happy to accommodate you in any way that I can. The trouble is I'm dealing with three classes over here, two classes in St. Pete. I have literally over a hundred students. I can't keep track of everybody's everybody's personality. That's not the right word, but I can't keep track of everybody. Please, I'm asking you, if you do have a disability and you do have accommodations like you need, you get extra time, then please let me know. Uh, let me know a week ahead of time, and I can make those accommodations. You can record the sessions. I don't mind if you do. The thing is, it's already recorded. There are areas in which uh, you have access to stress management, things of that nature. Phone numbers in there.
This last statement says I'm not going to be prejudiced against you. And there are some silly safety rules. I call them silly because literally speaking, you're not going to be dealing with chemicals. Questions, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I have now bored you for now 75 minutes. You can take your leave of me now as you will. So lab is every Tuesday, Thursday, or that's just lecture? There, I'm sorry. There is a lab lecture every Tuesday, Thursday at 8. At 8, right? Okay, there is a that. lecture lecture. Uh, I at start the office hours at 945. So I will be distributing that Zoom meeting information at 945. Sounds fair. On Monday, on Tuesday, by the way, you're going to notice that I do that. Understand if I ever say Monday or Wednesday, I really mean Tuesday or Thursday and, and just bring it to my attention. Uh, next Tuesday, we will be doing the uh, safety lecture. I'll give a little talk and then I will turn it over to the, to the uh, um, module. There are things, there are videos you have to watch in the module. And then you're going to have to access my, uh, you're going to have to access the uh, McGraw-Hill site to enter in your information. So that's going to be on Tuesday. Next Thursday, we're going to do a graphing lab. The graphing quiz is not done yet. It will be done probably tomorrow. Um, Anything else that's come up, guys? <clears throat> I'm Aaron Cricket, so I will see you on Tuesday. All right. Have a good day. You have Thank a good you. day too, Jolene. Thank you. All right, take care. <gasps> Raylena. Raylena? Yes. Okay. I didn't have a... Go ahead. I didn't have a question about any quizzes. Okay, uh, you understood. Did you understand my response back to the four questions you had? Um, the one was flat out a wrong answer. Kind of. And sometimes what happens when I go to correct a quiz answer, if I don't hit the update question button, it doesn't update to the correct answer. So that's basically what happened there. Um, okay. I didn't have any questions about the quiz. My questions were regarding um, Pearson and Connect. Okay. Um, I just, I didn't pay for either one of them and it let me in, so. Ah, it will let you in for a, for a um, grace period. So then how do I go to where I can just pay for them now? Or do I just have to wait? I would, I would keep on going until you're notified. Okay. Marlena. Okay. If they don't say anything, then I would keep quiet about it. Okay. Because in any other course, it's brought me to where I have to pay first or I've had an access code. So I just didn't know what was going on. Raylena, I, d I don't know what's happening either. Okay. All right. If you bring attention to it, what may happen right now, they may have clicked the button giving all students free access. Okay. If you bring attention to it, that may bring a, a fee upon you, okay? okay? I Literally speaking, I don't know, but what I will promise you is that if you go in and you're locked out, phone me right away, okay, okay. Relina? Phone, that's, that's an extreme emergency. Phone me right away and I will get in touch with McGraw-Hill as quick as I can and uh, um and see how you can get back uploaded okay thank you what i'm thinking is if it is a grace period they will give you a notification that hey 
you need to pay this fee or you're not going to uh, be in, the, in this class anymore. Okay. That is, that is basically, that's a logical thing. Okay. Anything Thank else? You. Raylena, you did understand my answers to those questions. The yes. one I'm, the one I was concerned about was you said that you saw in the PowerPoints somewhere that I said that breaking the solvent solvent and breaking the solute solute forces was not endothermic. No, that wasn't me. That wasn't you? No, I didn't ask any okay, questions. Okay, then I, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm transposing you with another student. No, you're fine. Yeah, no, I, my only questions were about um, the Pearson and Connect, but you answered okay. them. Thank you. Good enough. Thank you very much. I will see you probably in maybe 20 minutes or maybe about an hour. Take care. I will see you later. Thank you.